Hey, what's up y'all? It's Kennedy Simone here and I am back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew. If you don't know me, I'm Kennedy Simone, a sophomore economics major, management and organization minor from Shreveport, Louisiana at the illustrious Spelman College. And if you've seen by the title, this is gonna be 10 study tips, organization hacks, girl boss 101, how to slay college video. That was a mouthful, huh? But yeah, I'm trying to get y'all right. This is a long awaited video, but I just really wanted to be prepared when I came to this video. So yeah, as always, if you're excited for this video and you like it, give this video a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to ramble too much. Let's just get right into these study tips. So just to clarify, these are not in any particular order. I just kind of jotted them down. And also I'm looking at my phone for my notes. You don't want to be organized, huh? But um, yeah, so let's just get into this. So the first one is have a planner slash agenda and a big calendar in your room. So I have this lovely agenda that um, you have different notes for each of the weeks. And I have my planner color coded so each class has a different color and extracurricular has a different color and emergency like ASAP very important things have red as their color. So yeah I would definitely suggest that it is very helpful when you come to college and just in life in general having some kind of organization in your life is key and so you're not going to remember everything that you need to know on the top of your head. So just write it down in your planner and the big things, write it on your calendar like exams, papers, quizzes, that kind of thing. Put that on your calendar. Just have some organization in your life and that will help. Definitely planners and calendars. So number two, stay out of your room during the day, like in between your classes. Stay out of the room. Go to a little study area that you guys have on campus or one of the computer labs anything i feel so much more productive with my day and i get a lot of work done before like it's nighttime you know i want to be done with my work usually before you know night hits and that's when i'm just kind of like studying just not really doing hardcore work you know it helps because it lets you sleep your eight hours a day and um you just kind of have less stress because you're not worried about homework all day you're worried about it just during the day while you have classes and in between classes i would just do that um also another tip don't study in bed um that helps whenever you're not in your room um so yeah don't study in bed it's not good to mix like school and sleep yeah i would suggest just stay in the room do your work and then come back when you're ready to chill and relax so your room can be a relaxing space so number three go to your professor's office hours they should know your name okay at least your face but they should know your name okay most of my professors i have now know my name know my face because i'm in office hours i'm always talking to them before or after class you just kind of want to get familiar with your professor you know it's always good you never know at the end of the semester you might be you know a little between a little b or b plus or like a b plus and a minus you know that might help by going to office hours. Also, you're gonna need letters of recommendation for these applications for internships, job opportunities, even some of the organizations and clubs on campus, you're going to need letters of recommendation from professors. So just get to know them, like it doesn't hurt. College is also about networking and that is a part of your network, your professors. So number four, my absolute favorite that I love to do when I'm studying, I create a study timeline so I can stay on track. So say I'm starting to study at five o'clock. I'll have a little notebook or, or sticky note or something like this and I'll just make a little check box and put the time, five o'clock, what I need to do. Next thing, 5.30, do this, just so on and so on. So I'll show you a visual representation of all of this stuff too. But yeah, it really helps so you can just be like, okay, 30 minutes, I need to finish this. And then I'll take a break, maybe like a five minute break. Then 30 minutes for this, 30 minutes for this, or however many time increments that you guys wanna do it. It really saves you a lot a time of just procrastinating or just getting off track because you'll have that to just go by also for that i set alarms on my phone at each time that i put for myself so i just in case i do you know go off track or scrolling on social media 
I can get back on track whenever the next time increment comes around. So yeah, do that. <laughs> So number five, rewrite your notes, especially if you take notes in class. I'm pretty sure your professor talks really fast and you're scribbling and you're writing some things and you have question marks somewhere and you're abbreviating things. Rewrite your notes, okay? Especially right after class or like very soon after class so it's still fresh on your brain. I would suggest you rewriting your notes. Um, and even if you do take notes before, just kind of read over them again because rewriting your notes and just writing things out is proven to help you retain the information that you're studying. So yeah, I would definitely recommend rewriting your notes. I do it, it's helped. Um, I haven't done it in the past and it doesn't help. So I know that it works for me personally. So hopefully it'll work for you. <laughs> so number six, I said this in one of my previous videos. I'll actually link my college advice series that I did over the summer in the iCards right here is so many videos on so many topics so if you have a question it's probably answered in a video um but yeah so basically i told you guys that the syllabus is literally the key to getting an a your syllabus tells you everything you need to do to get an a so basically for me the syllabus is like on the top of the list for me like for each class so i keep my syllabus in the front of my binder or if you don't have binders that you use keep them in the front of your notes or keep them visible where you see it every single day i look at my syllabus almost every single day like because i need to know what's coming up professors do not tell you guys whenever something's due if it's on the syllabus they're like oh i gave you the syllabus it says it right here why didn't you know? Like, it's no excuse. So I have learned that putting my syllabus in a visible place, like the front of my binder, it'll keep you very organized, which is the overarching theme of this video, like organization and, you know, studying and everything. So yeah, definitely keep your syllabus always on you. Check it every day, like your email. Check it every day, okay? your homework before you go out or before the weekend college is a fun environment if you make it like it doesn't have to be all studying all the time you do need to have a break so having all your work done before like the weekend comes it saves so much like stress because you'll be ahead first and you won't have to worry about homework like Sunday night scrambling trying to finish your work before Monday and that stress will continue into the week which will make your whole week stressful and you don't want that okay you don't so definitely just try to finish your work as soon as possible honestly but especially if the weekend is coming up or if you plan on going out one night try to finish it before don't wait till after because you'll be scrambling and doing things last minute and last minute work usually isn't the best so yeah so the tenth and final tip that goes off the last one have a rest day where you do no work or minimal work um mine is saturday i usually do very very minimal work because i need a break like everybody needs a break you do not want to have to do work 24 7 because it will catch up with you and you'll just go crazy like you don't want to go crazy okay just have a self-care day i call my self-care saturday <laughs> but um yeah do a little mask maybe do your nails or like i don't know just relax take a little long shower maybe do your hair i don't know maybe wash your hair i don't know just just take time for you whether that be just chilling taking naps sleeping in going to the gym just do something you love to do that's relaxing as well self-care and mental health is very important you do not want to lose sight of that just because you're trying to get your work done you know everything in life is about balance especially college you need to know how to balance your life and i feel like these tips are helpful in doing that so definitely if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments we can chat we can talk ask me any questions that you may have um yeah i always talk with you guys i always answer every single comment and 
we chat down there, okay? So if you if you're trying to talk with me and have some good conversations or have any conversations with other subscribers down there, check the comments because we we be we be talking in there, you know, getting to know each other one on one. It's a family thing, okay? Um, but yeah, my battery's about to die. I see it blinking right now. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate you guys and I love you guys so much. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Kennedy.